Hey, good morning. It's me, Jan, live at 9.55, and I hope you guys are having a great morning so far. Um, I am, and I'll tell you why. First thing this morning, I got up, and as I looked in my closet, holy smokes, it was beyond. And so, I spent time listening to something positive this morning for my morning thing, my morning routine. Like we've talked about in the past, how important that is. And I took that time while I was listening, I cleaned out my closet. So remember when we talked about feng shui and how important it is to get rid of the clutter out there? Well, I did it this morning in my closet. So I'm just gonna switch this around and show you. You can't see the before because I did take a picture, but I can't show it to you because I can't figure out how to do that while we're live, but it looks better. This is so good. And I just feel so much better just having everything organized in there. So, yeah, bet you didn't think you'd be seeing my closet this morning, but hey, I just wanted to illustrate a point. And the next thing I did after I listened to that positive information, I went out and went walking. I actually went to the gym today, but um, many times I'm just on my treadmill. But today I went out to the gym and it was great. I found a friend, we walked for about 40 minutes and then I went and did some weights and that was really great. So I'd love to see how many of you guys are actually walkers. How many go out for at least 20 minutes every day or on the treadmill 20 minutes every day? Um, hopefully you do. Um, if you do, put an emoji in the chat or put hashtag walker down there so I can see who does their, their walking. Um, I just kind of went through and um, I knew a lot of the benefits of walking, but I did a little research this morning. So I'm going to share with you seven benefits that we get when we walk. And so many times, you know, we don't recognize that we do have control over some things. We kind of look to others to kind of help us out with all the problems we have, but really just something so simple can help us. So, um, so I'm excited to share these with you. So first of all, walking, lowers your risk for heart disease, right? It's a great opportunity for you to get your heart pumping. And it's so good for your heart, but it's not overly strenuous, so anybody can do it. And um, so it's, it's an excellent opportunity for you to strengthen your heart. Second, um, you can also help avoid other diseases as well. Um, diabetes, cancers, all of those things. I, it drives me crazy because so many times we we feel like we're at a loss. You know, everyone's talking about, we gotta find a cure, we gotta find a cure. But like I said, the cure oftentimes is within our, our control, at least to avoid it, right? Some things we can't control, but if we eat correctly, balancing blood sugars and we're moving and hydrating, you know, don't even get me started because that's, that's my thing. But these things are kind of within our control, right? We don't have to be afraid of, of developing cancer as much if we are staying in a healthy uh, range with, with our weight. And walking definitely helps with that, which is number three. Um, it helps us maintain a healthy weight or reach a healthy weight walking. Um, so that's awesome. The next one is my favorite. It's the reason most of the time while I, why I go out and do it is that it helps to boost my mood. Like you just feel a little bit discouraged sometimes or a little bit down in the dumps. All you gotta do is get out there and start walking. And it's interesting that there was a study done that showed that if you walk um, with your body straight and your arms moving while you're walking, it's called the happy stance when you walk. And you tend to have more of these benefits when you do that than if we just walk with kind of our hands still and our heads down. So remember that next time you're walking, that that's really super important to have a happy stance while you're walking. So um, put a smiley face in the chat if you, um, if you plan on being in the happy stance when you walk next time. <laughs> I have to think of things for you guys to do while I'm, I'm doing these lives so that it, it helps you be um, involved. Okay, so the next thing I love about it is it's easier on your joints. So a lot of times when people start exercising, there's a danger of injury. So we're always careful when I health coach, I am always careful to just not start out people right away. I always help them get going forward, feeling amazing, dropping 15, 20, 30 pounds first, depending on how much they have to lose. If they have a lot to lose, we'll make sure we get some good amount of weight off before we ever start doing anything. 
um, that's that's you know going to cause any pressure on joints. But walking is the least amount of pressure on joints. In fact, walking is great for your joints because it moves the the fluid around in your body and helps to bring the nutrition and the collagen and everything to the joint that it needs. So um, walking is super good for joints. Um, the next one is fresh air. So a lot of times we go to the gym, the air is kind of I don't know, kind of stale and smelly or in our basements on the treadmill. But if you have the opportunity to get out on a clear day where the air is fresh, it's so good for you. It cleanses your lungs, helps to just move your, get your um, lungs clear. Oh, I said that one. Mental clarity. Let's see, I wrote them all down. Better digestion. Oh yeah, and it improves serotonin levels. Um, the, did you know that digestion and serotonin levels are, are um, connected? Yeah, if your gut is sick um, and if you're not feeding yourself correctly, that can, in, that can increase chances for depression. Um, I just read a recent study about that and that is really a thing they're really finding. Um, so that's important to know. Um, just getting out and getting that fresh air is super good for helping you feel boosted in your mood and you're just feeling overall better. Um, and the last one that I love too was sparking cognitive function. How many of us worry about like Alzheimer's or, you know, being forgetful or our brains just kind of blanking out every so often? I know that's happened to me before and I'm like, oh, what's going on? I can't, I can't remember his name and I know this guy, you know, it's like, what? Um, and my dad struggled with it. So I'm really concerned about that and wanting to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to avoid it. So um, actively getting out there and walking is a way to, to create active cognitive function. They actually did a study and they had people who walked and people who sat. They each did like a cognitive um, creative solutions to problems test afterwards. And they found that those that were out walking often had more solutions to the questions on that little exam than those that sat. So I think that's awesome. If you have a problem that's plaguing you or you just need ideas for something, go out for a walk and it might just come to you what the solution is. So hopefully you guys, this will kind of encourage you to work in 20, 20 minutes is really, um, that's the minimum. You should probably do 30 if you can, but 20 to 30 minutes, three or four times a week is a good start to um, going out and walking. And the last thing I wanna say today is it's so important that you know, this can help you maintain a healthy weight, but the biggest thing, the aha moment that I've ever had was when I stopped exercising to try to burn calories to lose weight. I just go out to walk because of all of these things now. I don't even think about really, I ate this last night, I gotta go out and walk today. That isn't even part of my, my wheelhouse anymore. I love that, that I don't even think of it that way. So just go out and walk for the health of it, right? Okay, so hopefully this has been helpful and you've enjoyed the information. I know I've, I've had a great time um, gathering it for you and hopefully you'll have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.